So assuming that you already have your data set downloaded, we're going to move on to applying some data analysis and data exploration on a text editor. And in my case, I'm using Spider, and this is how it looks like. And it's very easy to use because you have the text editor on the left side here, and then you have the console on the right. So you can check your uh, progress step by step. In my case, I have um, downloaded the fitness CSV file, which looks like this. And we're going to focus on the step count. We can see it here and the calories burned. And I'm going back to my text editor and I'm going to start on line 8. And in order to be able to actually read the CSV file, I need to use the pandas data frame. And in order to be able to do that, I'm going to have to import it. And assuming that you already have it installed. So if, if you don't have it, you first have to install that. So I'm going to import the data frames from pandas. And we do it like this. From pandas import data frames. All right, now we imported the data frames that should be able to let us read the CSV file that we just downloaded. And in order to do that, I'm going to create a variable, which I'm going to call df. It doesn't matter what we call it, it's just the name. And from here, you're going to use the data frames and you write data frames that from CSV in order to read the CSV file and my CSV file is called fitness.csv so this is our CSV file and this CSV file is uh, separated by comma and we need to give that into the command line so separated equal And in order to be able to do some data exploration on the CSV file, we need to remove the header from it because that's going to give us some errors. And that we do by header equals zero and that's going to actually remove your header. Now we read the CSV file and that's the most important step. Now what we want to do is to focus, as we said, on those two columns, the step count and the calories burned. And how do we do that? Well, I'm going to create a new variable, which is called data. And I'm going to be using the data frame that I have created in this step before called df. And I'm going to read those two columns by their labels. And that is step count. And then calories burned. Okay, so now we read the data, we have the data that we want to focus from the CSV file and now we, let's see if it actually works and if it's going to show us the data. So we do that by doing print data. Keep in mind if you have a very big data, data set you cannot do this because it's going to crash your computer. But this is a very small data set and we can definitely do it. I'm going to press F5 and we have Oh, yes, we have a problem here. When I imported it, I didn't write the F with a big, big F. And now it should be working. Data frame. Okay, it's going good. All right. There we go. So this is the data that we wanted to look into. But as you can see, it's quite a lot of data and it's very, very confusing. And if you have a very big data set, that's going to be even worse. So what we're going to do is going to look at only the first five columns and rows of the data set. And we do that by saying print data.head and then parentheses inside. There we go. And I'm going to just clear my console, control L that clear my console, F5 again and there we go, we have the step count and the calories burned. This is a bit more readable, it's more easy to use, but then again I don't really find any useful information, it's just an idea. Um, but let's say we want to find the mean of the step count and the calories burned, 
and we can do that by print data dot mean parentheses I'm going to comment the print before so we don't have any confusion I'm going to run it again and we can see here that the step count is for approximately 2,935 steps with calorie, the calories burned is 93 calories. All right, so this was a little example of data exploration. If you really like this one, let me know down in the comments and we'll be coming up with some more. Thanks for watching.